Hey guys, Minecraft Fast Turtle here with another video. And in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a zombie survival game in Roblox. Now, before I get started, I want to let you guys know that this will not be one of those built to survive games because those aren't that fun, I find. Now, the first thing you want to do is go to search and type in disaster script. Now, don't get one of those disaster scripts made by blah 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 because those are probably fake. Now, if you look here, you see I already have one and then I have a pretty weird terrain thing. I just got that very quickly because I do not have proper tools in my Roblox edit. Now the first thing you want to do is you're going to go in your search and type up zombie. Well actually there's already zombies here. So once that's here, you're going to want to ungroup that. And maybe delete the commander. Okay, that's gonna lag. Okay, now that the commander's out, what you're gonna want to do is you see this little bundle of zombies here. You are going to want to select all of this and just ungroup, ungroup until. Oh shit! No, oops. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wasn't actually not supposed to do that. One sec. Let's just get another batch. Okay, let's just go back. There we go. Okay, there we go. And after here, you're going to want to group them again. And after here, you see how there's a model. You're going to want to go View and Properties. Once you have your properties, you're going to want to rename this model to Zombies and make sure you spell it properly. Okay? And now you're going to go all the way to the front and open up your disaster script. And once you get here, you'll see that there's this. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take out the noob. There. And then after, here, that means that the disaster will be zombie. But you're going to want to add an S because here, before, it was zombies as a disaster. And after, you see here how it says countdown message. You want to say the next wave instead. There. And after this means that uh, in blah 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 seconds. So like uh, it's and after it's countdown. And after that's good. And that's about it. And now basically what you want to do is you want going to go back down to the zombies if I can find them. I see zombie, but not zombies. Hmm, that is very particular. Oh, okay, yeah, I, I didn't name it. I named something else. That's strange. Zombies. There. And it didn't name it again. There. And basically what you're going to do is click on zombies, click cut. And that, you're going to see how the zombies disappear over here where they used to be. And after here you're going to go to lining. When you click on lining, you're going to want to go to paste into. And after here you'll see that there are zombies. Now basically if you guys want to have a whole um, cooler zombie thing. What you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to go to a uh, gun starter pack. Uh, I forget the whole name, but something like that. Or what you can do is you can just type in a zombie kill killing shot. Got. And there we go. Now, I don't know if these guns do work or not, because, you know, I've never tested them. Oh, we got a bit of lag. Here, uh, I'll come back to you guys when this lag's over. I will see you when this jump cut is over. Okay, guys. 
Uh, it took me about, I don't know, 30 seconds, and basically this little message will pop up. If it doesn't, that means it's a fake gun, and you're just going to be holding some weird thing in your hand that does not shoot. Hopefully this one actually works and kills zombies. Now you'll see that this says, put into starter pack. Now if you're going to want to have a cool generic thing, what you would have done, is you would have put it into like a bunch of, like, um, instead of a main and all that. I'll probably show you another video of how to set that up. But basically, you're going to want to click yes. And you'll see here in the starter pack, you'll see shotgun. Now basically, here in your properties, you're going to want to keep going down until you see ammo. And, or, oh wait, no, you're going to go here, click on the shotgun, and you see here how there's paintball. And when you see that, that means it's actually going to be a gun that shoots. Now here you're going to go to tools, and you're going to want to test your game. And go to play solo. It's just going to take a while to load. Aha, there we go. Now, here you see that we spawned in our little terrain area. And here it all says, the next wave will occur in 7 seconds. Now, here you can have like a little rundown town here, where you can, places where you can hide and all that. And, disaster. Well, I gotta change that so it says, uh, just zombies. Oh, and there they are. And now you see I have my bucket in my hand, and I'm getting a major leg, probably because I'm recording. And as I get closer, I'm pretty sure they should be chasing me. If not, then they need to fix that. Oh my god, I'm getting so much lag. Normally I don't like like this. But you'll see that whenever... Oh god. You'll see that whenever this here is um, done it'll say the next wave will occur in 12 seconds and after the countdown we'll keep going and for some reason these zombies won't work so basically what you would want to do actually no I, I think I'll show you okay but basically you got the hang of it where you know you'd shoot here and after you know zombies die and stuff yeah you get it I just want to see if the shotgun actually works at least I, I'm so sorry about this leg. People, uh, this really doesn't happen that often. Yeah, I don't even think the shotgun itself works. So basically, when, uh, you've tested and you think everything's good, and, uh, you see the zombies are actually chasing after you, and they're not just, you know, sitting there and shotguns are actually har harming them, that means you've actually done a pretty good job. And basically, if you see anything where it says, like, disaster, basically you'll want to go back in your disaster script. Oh, yeah, here it is. And after it'll say, uh, disaster, yeah, here. You're going to want to just take that out. And after here, you're going to want to add, like, something, some corny, like, here come the zombies. And after take that weird symbol out and add that and let's test this again and I'll, I'll only do that just to show you guys basically the scripting and everything and if you look a little bit more inside of the disaster script you should see some things where it says something like a um, time and if there if there is hopefully there is I haven't really checked much into it I actually I'm pretty sure I am one of the one. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm one of the people to actually use a disaster script in one of these games. But basically, what you're going to going to want to do is basically do what I did. You see, and it says the next wave will occur in blah 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 seconds. And here, there's no lag. Not as much, at least. Probably because you know zombies haven't spawned. And after you'll see, here come the zombies. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I guess that's when the lag starts. But you guys get the hang of it. Um, what you're probably gonna want to do in here is I'm gonna leave again. So much lag. So much lag. 
And basically here you're probably just going to want to go to zombie. And this zombie. No, you don't want an infecting zombie. Ooh, my good. You know what? I'll just use this for an example. Okay, this claw, cyber zombie, claw spray, whoever made that, thank you. You're going to be in my video. Okay, and after here, you see how you got this thing here, and where did it go? And basically from here, we're going to select this guy. Press control, and after V, I think it is? Oh my god, no. No, 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 not, not these again. Okay, and I think here you have to go to this. No, uh, seriously, what the hell? Okay, well basically, you're going to want to get maybe like 5 or 10 of these, depending how big your map is, or how many zombies you want to spawn. And from here, you're going to want to select them. And after, you're going to want to like group them inside and place them wherever you want. And after, group them just by like, you know, doing this and that. And selecting all of them. And after, basically, you group them. And whenever it says model, like this, you're going to click here and you're going to rename them to whatever you want. Normally, you know, because of this name, it would be Claw Cyber. And after, basically, you'd go back in your disaster script. And instead of it, instead of it being zombies, you'd put the name that you put inside of the properties. And you might want to change this. You want to change um, disaster to wave, just so people are like, oh wow, you know, that makes sense. Totally. And after you might also want to change this. And basically that is how it would work. And, uh, <laughs> I know this episode didn't really go out as I planned with all the lag and, you know, zombies actually not chasing me. I will probably start working on this map and this will probably be my, you know, map. If you guys are, if you guys like the commentary and you guys want to see more videos of me doing games of whatever, I do Minecraft and Roblox and maybe some other things here and there. If you guys want to see me doing more of those, just be sure to like and comment. And if you guys are new to the channel, you know, subscribe. Subscribe to me, bro. You know, subscribe. Bro. And uh, yeah, my name is Drunk Dogs Twelve, and I hope you guys have uh, enjoyed watching my video. Thanks for watching.